Um, so yeah, pause this, Amy. Okay, um, so we'll go on to augmented reality. Um, and I just have a couple more slides kind of explaining what virtual reality is. Um, so right here, this girl is experiencing augmented reality using a HoloLens. Um, she is actually looking at a heart um, and how it pumps blood through the heart. Um, and so that um, was a fun experience. They um, were actually just trialing um, a HoloLens at their facility um, or at their college. Uh, they actually don't own one, but um, there are plenty of like, um, sorry, there are plenty of companies out there who will send you equipment just to have you try it. You know, they're all trying to get you to, um, you know, of course, buy their stuff. Um, I am not personally a fan of HoloLens. I don't think it's quite there yet. Um, I think eventually it will get there. It is just a very expensive um, piece of equipment that is utilized for certain specific things. As, as far as training, I don't think it's there yet. As far as like um, going in and possibly looking at, um, you know, like a, a medical x-ray and then um, potentially for a doctor to look at that um, while talking to a patient, that's helpful. Um, but I just don't think the it's the space is is there yet. I think it will be in the next three to five years, but it's just not it's not fully developed yet. Um, so I, I will have these on my website. Um, I I will have a a page that's dedicated to information, just um, sharing it. You know, um, kind of how to guides um, that kind of thing. So um, augmented reality is. Um, very different. So um, it is an overlay. Most of the time, it's just a, um, it's it's placing a virtual entity into the real world. So um, I've used Roar, Roar and, and Blipper in the past. Those are two applications. Blipper is actually free. Uh, Roar is really cheap for educational uh, uses or facilities. Um, it's it's an overlay, so you actually just lay, um, you can put a video over any still image or still product. Um, I actually just went to a, um, uh, we have a Center for Emerging uh, Media Arts here in Nebraska, and we, um, I just went to a, a show where students were using like shadow boxes, and then they had um, augmented reality built, built into the shadow box, so you used your phone with an app. And then um, the shadow box kind of came to life. Um, so they, you know, and they just did that themselves. I mean, and it's something that you can just do yourself. Um, if you say you have a, a tutorial on, you know, something clinical, you can actually just have that and have it on any picture. I mean, it could be on, um, you know, your, um, like your uh, nameplate at, at your office. I mean, it could just be sitting there and you could just um, have that video pop up or whatever um, and play. And like we've done, um, I've done things in the past with Roar where it's just an overlay with like questions. So it was um, something relating, uh, it was like a scavenger hunt in our building and it was relating to whatever the student was learning at the time. And we just had um, questions built into an overlay with an augmented reality app that did like fun things. So like, for example, we had one, Martin Luther King's picture was in our hallway and I had um, the audio of his uh, speech come on. And then it popped up a question that asked about their, um, what they were studying that month. And so it's just a way to get your students engaged um, and, and have that, that extra piece of innovation. Collaborative reality is coming. Um, it's, I, it's here. Um, not a lot of, not every company is doing it. Um, so this is a forum where different people from various locations across the world can come in to one virtual environment and work together on a project. So a good example of this is um, Oculus Horizons. Um, so you can come in from all over the world as, as long as you're in a head, well, you don't actually, you don't even have to be in a headset. You can be in a headset and a computer and you can have a meeting. So I can meet with Deb and Peru in, in a meeting, in a headset. And, um, you know, we, we show up as avatars in that one, but there are, are a few that you, you show up as your own, you know, your own face or whatever you've designed. Um, 
Victory XR is another great example. They have um, a cadaver lab that students from all over the world, as long as they have the right code, can get into a platform called Engage VR, and they can, um, you know, work together on, on a cadaver. And so it's, it's a great learning tool and a great way to um, collaborate, especially if there's people, um, you know, across the world and you want, you need students um, to in, be engaged in that instead of just being on a Zoom. So 